Today we're going to show you how to change the multi-rib belt on your dryer. It's a pretty easy job. All we're going to need is a 5 16 nut driver and a putty knife. Let me show you how it's done. The very first thing we do before we begin this repair is disconnect the power to the dryer. If it has a plug on it, simply disconnect the plug and you're safe. If it does not have a plug, find the disconnect switch, turn it off and verify that power is disconnected to your dryer before you begin. To begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is raise the top of the dryer. So there's two spring clips, each of them are in about three inches from the outside edge. Just take a flat putty knife, locate them, push in and depress the spring, lift up gently on the top and hold it up. Now we'll need something to support the top when we lift it up either lean it against the wall or have somebody hold it, support it in some manner. Next, we're going to remove the front panel and there's two 5 16 screws that secure the front panel to the cabinet. They're accessible from the back. We'll need to remove those. We also have the door switch. We'll need to remove the wires on that. And if it has a light in the model that you're working on, you'll need to remove the wires to the drum light. Take note of the location of the wires before you remove them. You know, take a picture of it, write it down. Gently lift up on the front panel and unhook the two tabs from the bottom. Set that aside. Next, we'll remove the front bulkhead. There's four 516 screws that secure that to the cabinet. Pull the drum back from the bulkhead, lift up gently on it, pull forward. Now we'll set aside the front bulkhead. Now with the bulkhead removed, we're ready to lift the drum forward and down to release some of the tension on the belt through the idler pulley. Then we can remove the belt from the idler pulley. Just tilt the drum slightly forward, lift up on it, pull it ahead, and let it drop down. That will release some of the tension on the, on the belt. I'm going to reach in over top of the housing, feel the idler pulley, just lift up on it to release a little more tension, and push the belt off of the rear of it, unwrap it from the motor pulley. Make sure it's not pinched underneath the idler. Push the belt towards the rear of the dryer. And we can slide that drum a little more forward. And we're going to lift our belt out. To install our new belt, we're going to have the groove side of the belt against the drum, and it will be wrapped around the motor pulley. The flat side of the belt will wrap around the idler pulley. Just lower it 
down the back side of the drum. And wiggle it roughly into position. You'll see a mark on the drum where the old belt used to ride. Push the drum back far enough. We're going to reach in again across the top of the blower tube. Grab the belt as it comes down on the right hand side of the drum. Wrap it around the motor pulley. And we're going to pull that belt across the top of the idler pulley. Lifting up on the idler pulley. And roll the belt underneath. Now once you have the belt rolled around the idler pulley, you just feel the belt, make sure that we have it laid properly against the drum on both sides. Make sure there's no twists in it. And we're going to lift the drum up onto the rear drum rollers. It's in its natural position. Again, we'll check the belt, make sure it's not caught on anything. A visual inspection. Everything looks fine. We should be able to turn the drum clockwise. And we'll see the blower wheel moving. A couple of rotations. At this point, check and make sure it's tracking where it should be. We know it's all set right. Next, we'll put the front bulkhead on. To reinstall the front bulkhead, we basically want to push the bulkhead up against the dryer drum, making sure that the two glides are underneath the lip of the drum. Then we can lift up and install these two tabs, one on each side, into the opening in the cabinet. same time, we want to make sure that we engage the blower outlet correctly. Make sure the drum is still sitting on top of the slides. We're ready to install the four 5 16 hex head screws. Reinstall the wires for the light. Make sure they go through the harness holder. And they're two different size terminals, so it's pretty hard to mix these two up. Make sure they fit snugly, and if they don't, just give them a little crimp with a pair of needle nose pliers. Now we're ready to put the front panel on. Now, as we install the front panel, we want to engage two clips that are on the bottom of the cabinet, two slots in the bottom of the front panel. Tilt the front into place. And reinstall the two 5 16 screws that secure the front panel to the cabinet. Next, we'll reinstall the wires to the door switch. This is where you consult the notes that you made when you took them off. Make sure they're in the proper locations. Make sure they fit snugly. And if not, crimp them with a pair of needle nose pliers. Now we're ready to put the top down. To engage the two alignment tabs, one on each side, with two holes in the bottom of the top. And 
then two locator tabs on the front, snap it into place. And our repair is complete.